guys so for today's video I'm going to be doing a Halloween haul and you're probably thinking Danielle it's just September so I buy Halloween stuff to use all year round so I'm very 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 excited when I see that it's actually in store I'm a little bit obsessed with Halloween you guys probably already know that I guess what I'll start with is actually what I'm wearing I got this shirt at Walmart and let me pull my hair back um it's just got skulls like all over the back everything is skulls and it's thermal material and it is like long sleeve I just got it pulled up I'm very lucky that I wear a large because they only had one large and like a hundred extra larges and I was like please find my size and I finally found it I'm so happy but yeah this is like eight dollars like with tax and everything the next two things that I got aren't really even Halloween related but I'm gonna show them anyway I got some tarts and this is one of my favorite things about having my own house is buying like a shit ton of tarts and stocking up on them when they're like Halloween scented. Or not Halloween but fall scented and um, I think this one's out all year round though. But anyway this one is limited edition for 2014. It's golden maple waffles. This one smells exactly like maple syrup. The maple syrup in this is so strong that like it's almost overpowering. And there's like a little bit of vanilla in there, I think. And then the next one I got is, like I said, I think it's out all year round. But look at the packaging. This is so pretty. I just love that picture. But this one is called Clear Autumn Sky. And this one smells like cologne. Like a man's cologne. It's very, very good smelling though. It almost smells a little bit clean. I also did my nails uh, with cat claws. I think I did a really good job because that's my first time doing that. And then the inside tips of them are blue. But... They're like wonky and probably look terrible, but I think I did a good job for my first time. So that was everything at Walmart. The tarts come from Walmart. I don't know if I said that or not. Now I'm going to move on to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree really stepped their game up this year for Halloween. They had some really awesome stuff. I guess I'll start with these. I got some bottle stickers. I thought they were called labels, but they're called bottle stickers. This is what they look like. There's one that says Poison Beware, Trick or Treat, Witch's Brew, and Spider Venom. I got these because my husband has his own game room in our house. And he wants it to be, like, I guess horror themed as well as the rest of the house. But, um, he wants it to be specifically, like, blood and, like, zombie stuff. So what I did is we got these and I'm going to take some alcohol bottles, like empty alcohol bottles, and put some stuff in them and put these as labels. And I'm thinking about making a tutorial over how I do that. So if you guys are interested in that, just let me know and I can do it. But I'm going to make him some bottles for like a shelf in his room. The next thing I got was just a spider basket. It's a spider web, as you can tell. And then it's got like a spider. Can't see it. There you go. There's a spider. There's two. One is on the other side. And I got this to sit on the coffee table just all year round. The last two items is what I think the Dollar Tree really stepped up on this year. And it's accessories. They had some scarves. And it took me forever to actually find these. I kept seeing them on Instagram from like the Halloween people that I follow. And I was like, where are you getting those? Like, why doesn't mine have them? It took me forever to find them, but I finally did. And this one is black with some spiders. And it's very, very sheer, which is good because I wear this stuff all year round. And I can wear it in the spring and summer and not burn up. And then the next one has um, ghosts on it. You guys know I had to get something with the ghosts. But um, they're very cute, and this one again is very sheer. I'm so happy that I found these. There is apparently a pumpkin one that I've not been able to get my hands on. I have no idea, like, why my stores do not get this really cool stuff, but they don't. You know, that's life, I guess. That is actually everything that I got, and what I'm going to do is whenever I buy Halloween stuff, I'm, I don't want to, like, hoard up the stuff because I actually want to use, like, the tarts and the scarves, and I want to film it. Like, I want to make a video, um, I want to get a bag full, which is pretty much like one trip. So I'm going to do a bunch of hauls of Halloween stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if this is the first video you're seeing of mine, my name is Danielle, and you should subscribe and become a Creepling today. And I'd really love it if you did. I love all you guys. We're almost at 400 subscribers. This is 4, 4, 0, 0. Uh, we're almost there. And it makes me so, 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 so happy. If you like watching people buy Halloween stuff and show it off, then come back because I'll have more eventually. Um, most of the stores around in my area don't have all their stuff out yet. Before I go, I just want to say that if you guys have any Halloween video suggestions, go ahead and comment them down below, whether it be, like, a specific scary story or, um, I'm thinking about making a paranormal video 
I want to do vlogging, but I don't think I have the willpower to like film a video every single day. And I'm still not comfortable with filming in front of people. And I hang out with people on the weekends. And then like on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays I'm with my husband. <laughs> and I don't film in front of him. But I'm trying to get him to do a video with me. Um, so maybe we'll do that in October. If I can get him to do it, he's very shy. A camera shy, rather. But yeah, leave me some video suggestions down below. I do have some horror movies that I have to review for you guys. Probably going to do that next. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.